is enough and it's time for a change. Well, YouTubers, the way is over because you know I've been delaying it, but the way is over pertains to me of teases, pertains to everything about I've been doing pertains to me being done with WWE. And yes, I've done videos about this before. It pertains to me being done with WWE and me being um officially done with WWE and finally being done with WWE and basically to a point where uh the last straw of me being done with WWE but now uh to a certain degree which I'll get to um that when I get to it it might be at this time. Not gonna talk too long about it. I'm basically just go short to the point here of why I'm going, I am officially done. And basically, over the years with WWE, I've been hearing nothing but scandals, shadiness, pettiness, bitterness, holding grudges, you know, and er everything that has happened with tends to um, how bad this company is from their dark side of something that they, they don't want to, you know, to uh, put out there where it tends to, you know, to to the to the owners, the executives, the agents, the producers, the wrestlers that they are uh, they protect and all that. Where it tends to uh, everything that has been going on over the years, and the, the one thing basically, and also with all the lies and the continuing, you know, the continuous lies. Um, but the one thing that, you know, that for the last 21 years that has been bothering it's been bothering me and it's been um been eating inside me for all these years a weapon to own heart <clears throat> to own heart excuse me on that fateful night at over the edge of 99 and basically it's been explained a lot from Martha Hart not just from her, um, her broken heart book, um, which was um, a while back, but also it to her talking about um, with Chris Jericho on um, Tokyo's Jericho, and it retains to happen what she talked about on Dark Side of the Ring and on Wrestling uh, or Southern Newsletter Radio. Um, I believe that's what it's called. You know, the one that, that Dave Meltzer um, does, along with someone else, I can't remember what his name either. But there's more to it uh, with Martha Hart to talk about uh, about on the heart, about that faithful night and everything. But besides that, on the heart, the way he died should have never happened. That stunt should have never happened. I blame the company for being responsible for having to, to the death of Owen Hart. I blame the people that were responsible for for um, in charge of the rigor. Of the of everything that was that was gonna do or the stunt with own heart, I hold them responsible too. Basically, wiping the own heart and the way it was handled at the own heart's death, and it's been explained a lot on the Dark Side of the Ring uh, of of the episode of own heart, and which was the um, the season finale. Um, for season two, and then we're more talking explain, explain a little bit more again. We're going to wrestling news observer radio about the whole situation. Now, I understand. I mean, uh, on the asylum, I did uh talk, talk a, lot, a lot about that, and I'll need to um to talk, um, I'll need, I'll need to talk. I don't need to talk enough uh, about it from, from there, and because I already already did that part on the, on the asylum. You can you can check that out on the asylum episodes. Basically, that was my final nail in the coffin to this company, or it seems to me ever watching a product from WWE ever again of Raw, SmackDown, NXT, NXT UK, the pay per views. Moving forward, uh, subscribing to the on to the WWE network and and following all social media 
I am officially done with them. I want the, the tune away from them uh, once and for all. I do happen to own heart. And, and over the years, they, the way they treated it, that whole situation. I tried to be a nice guy. I tried to play by the rules. It's despicable. It's disgusting. It's pathetic. It's disrespectful. And they don't learn their lessons. Every time when this when when something like this happened, you know, it's always been bringing up. Now, even though his death was accidental, they still were whole responsible. Because at the end of the day, Owen Hart was employed to them. Owen Hart died on their watch. And they still continue to show. And I heard about something that of Kevin Dunn's part. That they didn't even want to do an Owen Hart tribute on the next night. And the whole thing of the, uh, the funeral of Owen Hart was being filmed. Which that's something that Martin Hart couldn't control. You know. But the WWE uh, basically they were told by Martha Hart to, uh, you know, to, uh, to, honor, her, to honor her wishes to not air that. Uh, on Raw, and they decided to do it anyways. They decided to uh, to show the lack of respect and and basically dishonor Martha Hart's wishes by airing it on Raw. And then she had to take action with the E, not just with the wrongful death, but also had to take actions because of uh, the E's part of suing Martha Hart because she's breaching the contract of her of her husband late husband at this point uh, at that point Owen Hart which is ridiculous you turned your backs on me I snap I was a victim well enough is enough so I want to apologize I, I, and I said my apologies already on our routines to uh you know doing on the sound show but I want to and I know she's not gonna watch this but at least uh I want they make the thoughts count as I'm doing this to say my apologies I'm sorry my uh, my apologies I apologize to Martha Hart for, uh, for giving her a little shit, uh, of shit over the years not saying that uh, I attacked her or or I um, disrespected her um, basically uh, you know basically I'm apologizing because of the whole thing with her uh, not uh, allowing Owen Hart to be in the Hall of Fame or honoring Owen Hart on WWE programmings um, during that time, but now, but um, after everything that's been transpired, now I, I now I understand, and that's why I am apologizing to Martha Hart for that, and I am on board with Martha Hart 100 percent that Owen Hart should never ever go into the WWE Hall of Fame, should not even touch the WWE Hall of Fame, because let's face it. Like everyone has, has said, like a Scott Steiner, a Martha Hart, and a few others, but that Hall of Fame is a sham. It's not about honoring um, those that paved the way. Um, where it pertains to how um, how the, how a real Hall of Fame should um, be treated. That's basically what I'm trying to say. No disrespect to the uh, to the Hall of Famers that are in there, you know, for, for all the ones that are no longer here, and but for the ones that are still here. No disrespect to all of them, especially to a, a couple of the celebrity wings, and a couple of of the, well, um, let me say, you know, no disrespect to to all of the ones that um are get, getting the Warrior Awards. No disrespect to the legacy of um wing of it, but. That Hall of Fame is a whole of, of scam to me at this point now. Bro. That being said, um, back to the whole thing what I, what I want to say about me canceling WE out for good. Yo, we're tends to being WE um, being dead to me. I am curious of what they're going to do with Matt Riddle. But right now that's going to be on hold because Matt Riddle is right now in the middle of this um, allegation uh, of, you know, of being accused of what he did. And 
that's going to under uh, refer to an investigation. And until something comes out of it, I'm not going to watch anything of Matt Riddle or Robert since what he did on WWE television because he made his SmackDown debut. Um, so I'm going to leave it as that. So if if it's true that he did these claims, that's been claimed that he's um, been uh, accused of sex sexual assault to a, a female wrestler back in 2018, if this is, if this is true, WWE is, is completely dead to me. And Matt Riddle, because I'm a Matt Riddle fan, it just, you know, even though I don't watch the product anymore, but as a Matt Riddle fan, I will no longer be a Matt Riddle fan, and I am double Matt Riddle as well, and he will also be dead to me. So, we'll see what happens from that one. Or if own heart um, being honor, he could still be honor. For example, he could be honor after 20 years of any type of merchandise of own heart. That has nothing to do with WWE. It's finally, it's going to be in, in good cause. This own heart t-shirt goes to the money, not only for person tees, but also for Dark Side of the Ring, and more importantly, to the Own Heart Foundation. And this is the um, the, the picture of Own Heart from WrestleMania uh, 10, by the way, when he beat Bret Hart. Uh, this is the logo, the the on the yeah, basically the image of Own Heart. Uh, that's that's part of, that's um basically the official logo image of the Own Heart Foundation. This is actually the logo of the Own Heart Foundation, but this is the image that you'll see on the Own Heart Foundation web website, which is a great, a great web website. And another t-shirt for Own Heart. There you go. This one is ex ex extremely cool. Again, the money will go to Dark Star the Ring and to the Own Heart Foundation because of crossing tees. So, so there's gonna be ways for Owen Hart, and by the way, there's gonna, there's gonna be more to come of these um, these merchandises of Owen Hart on Pro Wrestling Tees. And on top of that, there might be um, you know, um, has something to do with New Japan Pro Wrestling as well because Chris Jericho on Jericho's podcast, talk is Jericho, talk, talk to Martha Hart about that. That that Mar Martha Hart should do something to honor Owen Hart in, in New Japan Pro Wrestling because Owen Hart. Uh, wrestling New Japan Pro Wrestling and Owen Hart uh, with, with the style of, of wrestling that he did has brought that into the into America and also in Canada. Basically, Owen Hart, you know, was one was one of those, you know, these, you know, basically um, wrestling fans um, that that will that will crap on and bury and um, and call these vanilla midgets flippy flip wrestlers. Think about that when you when you're saying. Um, you know, terrible things about flippy flip wrestlers when Owen Hart was one of all those flippy flip wrestlers who was the pioneer of those flippy flip wrestlers. Just saying. Think before you start trashing the flippy flip wrestlers. Because guess what? Uh, once again, the late great Owen Hart is one of those flippy flip pioneer wrestlers. But anyways, uh, Martha Hart is considering to do that because Chris Jericho advised that to her. Because over, over the years, she thought to herself, when it pertains to um, owning the footage and uh, any any uh, rights of own heart, or pertains to, um, or pertains to anything that um, pertains to own heart or, you know, with him in wrestling, that only WWE uh, is allowed to do that? Nope, that's not the case at all. Because Chris Jericho, uh, you know, is, um, had told all this. And uh, unfortunately, if she knew about this all along, or was someone else, um, you know, that could have told her this, maybe there could have been a whole heart merchandise out there on behalf of, of Martha Hart. Unfortunately, there wasn't. Um, someone there to uh, tell her that. But, but thank you, but thank you, thank you to Chris Jericho for telling that to Martha Hart on the podcast, and hopefully, you know, Martha Hart is considering to do that. To do something with New Japan Pro Wrestling, we'll take his own heart, not just by honoring him, but also we'll take some merchandises, and we'll see how where it goes from there. And hopefully, 
that will happen when this whole pandemic um, dies down. And then she, and then Martha can go to Japan. And she's been about four all of her own heart. And along with her and uh, also to take to take her to take along with Oj and Adina, the 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 son, Oj, and the daughter, Adina, of Owen Hart. <laughs> Was a safe at this point, you know. Other than what retains to me be official number WWE and, there, and all the teasers that I was doing uh, leading up to this, which I, again I apologize for the delays, you know, to uh, doing it. Uh, but I, uh, you know, finally the way is over. But what retains to me finally, um, you know, being done with WWE, out with WWE, and in, or should I say, all in with all elite wrestling A E W Never look back, no, never say die Always attack with the warrior cry Never look back, no, never retreat And with that being said Thank you all for watching for It's the Natural Born Thriller saying peace on the streets More importantly rest in peace to the late great Owen James Hart, known as the Rocket, the King of Hearts, the Black Heart, Owen Hart. <laughs>